This is the Latte Panda capturing video along my underwater camera theme. But the focus is on Hammond and Amphenol components. Going through some of the kit components in no particular order. Here we can see the Hammond case with three connectors mounted through it. Hammond actually milled out the openings for all of these connectors and including the other RF connectors. They did a very nice job. These are all very nicely fit. They, they These all very nicely fit the connectors. Over here we have an RJ45. You can see that it has a very nice um, terminal block arrangement to allow easy access to the pins. And note that the screw holes are completely sealed and the gasket which you can just see here on the inside of the, the panel is uh, going are all the way around the screws and all the way around the connector making sure that no water can leak in through the screws or the connector over here is that four pin circular connector which has solder cups and that makes it easy to just solder on whatever cable you need on the inside the gasket for this one is on the outside which we'll see in a minute over here is this USB connector it's a plastic shell which has the, the gasket on the inside here and it's got a nice big flange to make sure that uh, you get a good seal it came with a pigtail connection and I soldered that to a normal USB connector which stays dry inside the box so you can see in this image the lip for the o-ring and we'll see it in some other images as well and that the screws are outside of the o-ring so water can't come in through the screws and get through this o-ring seal this is the outside of those three connectors the USB connector has this nice big plastic nut on it um, you can actually finger tighten this to a very good seal and uh, the big nut may, may gives you a lot of um, capability to put quite a bit of force on the threads for these plastic uh, threads the circular connector here is metal and it has a, a nice latching mechanism for the mating connector right here is just a dust cap uh, to keep dust off it while you're not mating to other connectors and you can notice that the gasket is on the outside of this one and it's actually part of this um, dust cap so that's clever it's just all one piece but part of it's a gasket and part of it's a dust cap over on the left is that RJ45 connector now it um, I'm just putting it in here with some 440 screws but we also got supplied a mating sort of shroud for a, um, an RJ connector cable to come in here uh, I didn't mount it on here um, because you need a cable that uh, you can clamp the the shroud onto and I didn't have one and I'm not really using this for my project but um, it's a really nice connector and very solid very rugged so what else do we have uh, here's a picture of most of the system we have a Hammond box on the left with, with the the three connectors I mentioned and some RF connectors which we'll talk about in a minute you can see that I've mounted a camera inside the box on this 3d printed frame and you can see that there are the threaded holes on the lid are all metal inserts so you can screw it in and take it off without worrying about damaging plastic threads that's very nice um, and on the inside there are uh, also metal inserts for this frame that I put in here so th these screws also can go in quite nicely and be removed without any trouble and you can notice that I've got my little handle washers there so they can grab the washer and the screw uh, while I'm trying to put them in the corners it's just a little handy trick to make these easy to insert and you can see where I soldered on this connector for the USB to, to mate to the standard USB connector on the camera. Um, I had a, a nice heat shrink that went over this, but 
it had glue in it which leaked into the connector so I had to take all that off and ended up with an, an ugly um, just hot glue gun uh, covering. The lid also has captive screws which you thread in through a little threaded, threaded re retention bit at the beginning and then once they go through that they're loose and captive and they can screw in here without uh, affecting the captive part but that's handy so they you don't lose the screws if you uh, just take the lid off they're gonna stay with the lid you can see right through the clear lid this black o-ring which mates to this lip on the edge of the um, box and it's all nice and smooth so that the o-ring can be foot fit in here without any sharp corners that does a really good job. Obviously, when we put this under water, it didn't leak at all. And over on the right, there's a 3D, 3D printed uh, frame for the LCD, which plugs onto the top of the 3D printed chassis for the Latte Panda. The Latte Panda, of course, is a little Windows computer, and uh, it's going to be running the display and the camera and recording the camera. So that's um, in another episode of this uh, project. Here's a quick view of what it looks like with the lid on and you can see that the lid is very transparent and it gives the camera a good view of what's going on outside even though the camera's inside the box. Down here of course there's the RF connectors and the three connectors I already discussed. Those three should be coming up momentarily but first just another view showing the lid off the Latte Panda and the battery that slides onto this pole down here this is the hockey stick and the battery slides on there with this little 3D printed bracket over on the left you can see the shroud for the RJ45 cable and this would have to mount this part would mount on the box to give it a seal and these two uh, sort of kitty corner screws are the opposite corners for the ones that are used um, for this part of the connector. So there's room to put these screws uh, on the opposite corners from the two that are already there. That makes a seal on the outside and then that allows you to have this gasket um, uh, making a full watertight seal at the box. And I think up here, this requires a clamp. Oops, back up. Back up. So this requires a clamp to make a seal to the cable. Down here is the USB mating connector that keeps a watertight connection to a cable. At the top of this one would be a, uh, a, a little ferrule that uh, is, is tightened down onto the cable. If you have the right cable, you'll get a watertight seal at the cable. And there's all kinds of gaskets in here, inside inside here that you can solder the cable to a little card, which is at the other end of this USB connector. The circular connector uh, has a similar ferro rule up here, which uh, can be tightened down onto a cable, and it's a very rugged latching type connector. You can just uh, bayonet this thing on and it uh, will maintain a watertight seal. So next picture. This one just shows the Latte Panda uh, assembled with the display plugged onto the top of it. Here are the RF connectors. Here we have an SMA connector on the inside but on the outside it's an N connector so this is an N to SMA connector through a bulkhead very nice little connector uh, well machined and it keeps a nice waterproof seal this one is a TNC on the other side which is a threaded version of a BNC and on the inside here it's just a, uh, a or, or a crimp connection to a coax cable. This connector is an SMA connector to uh, MCX connector through a bulkhead. Now normally you would put the SMA on the outside I think, 
but uh, notice that this, uh, these ribs here, which are meant to house uh, circuit boards, if you have circuit boards that you want to put in the box, um, but I had to carve the ribs out where this connector is. So although Hammond drilled a nice hole or machined a nice hole for this thing, um, they left the ribs there. So I, in cleaning out the ribs, um, I'm not sure it was totally smooth, but I want a really smooth surface for the gasket. And the gasket mounts on the other side. So I put the MCX connector on the outside just to make sure I got a good seal. And we'll have a look at that in a moment. Yeah. So here we are. That's the uh, MCX connector on the outside. You can see the TNC uh, here and the big end connector. So these are really nice solid connectors and they definitely remain watertight with no... I didn't put any caps or cables on these when I dunked it and they didn't leak so that's very watertight. And that's the end of the, the description of the components. You can see actually the camera sticking up here, um, but the lid is just above it. So uh, I positioned it so that it's close to the lid. Uh, and it may look like it's sticking up here, but it actually not touch, not, it's not touching the lid.